Hi friends, Miss Amber here. Today I am going to show you how to make that summer postcard out of index cards. This was one of the options provided. The other one would be where you would print the postcard template on cardstock, which is like really thick paper. Then once you printed it, you would cut it out with scissors and you would glue those two pieces together. But today I'm going to show you how to make that summer postcard with index cards. So, of course, you'll need two index cards. Um, ask your parents to help you find the right size. Um, if you don't have index card, you could use other paper. Um, just make sure you cut it to size and you want a few pieces to put together to make it thicker because the thicker the paper is, the better it will be in the postal service because we don't want it to get bent or torn or anything like that. So you'll have your index cards or other paper. You'll have your glue stick. You'll have a pen, pencil, you'll have markers, crayons, anything like that to decorate your card and to write on. But first, you'll take your index cards, and I'm going to show you right here. You'll see lines on the index card, right? Well, you're going to take those two sides with the lines on them, and you're going to take your glue or glue stick, and you're going to put glue on both of those sides. So only the sides with the blue or colorful lines on it and I'll show you see I'm putting it on this side but I'm putting it everywhere to make sure it's really sticky because the stickier it is the better and it means it'll stick you know together which we hope it will but afterwards if you see where some of your sides aren't sticking together you can take maybe some clear tape or anything like that to, to help keep your two pieces together like I said we're just doing this um, to make sure our card sticks together and it's thick enough to go through the through the mail. So you're going to take your two sides with the lines on them and you're going to put them together and you're going to try and line them up as best as possible. So you want to push, 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 push together. You can push on the table, you can push on any service you have, but you want to try and line it up as best as possible. So you have a little a little air bubble right there. We don't want that. All right. So let's see. See those. That's mine together. See all you see is white. You don't see any lines. And like I said, if you want it to stay together a little bit more strongly, you can take a piece of clear tape and put it on the edges so it'll stick together. Then you're going to grab your pen, pencil, or marker to draw on your postcard the different areas. Like I said, if you printed it out, you don't need to worry about it. You'll just glue the two pieces together. But for your index card, you'll need to write so the post office will know who it's going to. So that's what I'm going to show you next. So here I have shared my screen with you so you can see what the postcard will look like. And you see dear and love and to and things like that. So you're going to take your card and on one side you're going to leave completely blank for right now. You're not going to do anything with it but the other side you're going to start to write on. So you'll just copy what you see from the card on the paper online and I'm going to write dear right now so you guys can see it and I'm going to write love and I'm going to write to because that's who the card's going to and I'm going to draw a little box at the top and that'll be where you put your stamp. You don't have to write, draw a little box, but I just did it so you guys could see it. So here, I know it looks probably reversed on your screen, but you'll just copy what you see on your paper from online. And we have dear, love, two, and a little box for the stamp. So dear will be whoever it is going to. So I'm gonna put dear, Mr. Gregory, because like I said, if I were to write to him, that's who I would, I would put that name right there. And see, below that, you'll draw some lines, and this can be where you write your message. Then under love, you'll draw another line, and then you're going to write your name. And like I said, this is supposed to be fun and help you, you know, increase those writing skills. And so, at the bottom I have love, Miss Amber. Now over here, you can ask your parents for help to write the address of who it is going to. And below, you will see where I have provided our addresses here at the school. So if you want to write 
Miss Tori, Mr. Gregory, or myself, you can find that information right here. And so there's mine, there's Mr. Gregory's, there's Miss Tori. And as you can see, we all have the same address because we're using here at the school. Just be sure to put the different name at the top so we know who it's going to. So that's what would go over here. You would write to, you know, and your parents can help you write the information. And if you don't want to write to us, a parent can, you know, find who you do want to send it to, their address, and help you fill that part out right there. And don't forget the stamp at the, at the top of the paper. Then on the back, that is your free canvas. You get to draw that summer fun picture that you want someone to know about. So something fun you did this summer or that you hope to do this summer. Um, and just make it colorful, make it fun. And then once you're done, you know, you put the stamp on and have a parent help you walk out to the mailbox and, and put it in to be mailed out. So I can't wait to see what you guys make and I hope you guys send us some. Bye guys.